What's up everybody? Freezing day here in Florida. It got down to the 20s this morning. It's only 31 degrees at the moment. I'm sitting out here in my truck waiting for the heater to warm up before we take off down the road to try to go on another squirrel hunt. I've got this crazy idea in mind that I think I can do a pulled pork barbecue sandwich, but instead of pork, we're gonna use squirrel. Got a couple ideas how I think I can pull this off. First thing we need is to go get some squirrels. Let's go see if we can make it happen. <laughs> one down all right we're back at the house got the squirrel here i'm going to show you how to clean it so what i do is i start with making an incision right below the tail you actually go through the tail and you cut down either side of the hind legs just through the fur whole point is to get that flap all right now that we have our flap made what we're going to do is put the squirrel on the ground put the heel of our boot on that flap and simply pull up and there we are so now we'll finish pulling the rest of this fur off both directions make some cuts. All right, it's confession time for me. And you know how us guys, we love to admit we're wrong when we screwed up. In this video, you only seen one squirrel kill. Whereas in this bowl, there's multiple squirrels. Yesterday, I went out, spent the time to film, got several more kills, gun mounted, tripod mount, come home, edited everything, it looked great. Somehow I managed to erase all of that information. So all I have is a little bit that you've seen. So I guess we're going to go ahead and go on with the cook, see what happens. We're going to give this recipe a shot. Fingers crossed it turns out good. I've got my pressure cooker here. All I've done is put about a cup of water in it. I've got a bowl full of squirrels. I put them in the refrigerator last night, covered them in water, put a little bit of salt in there. Typically that's not something I do, but since I was going to keep them overnight and cook to today, I figured I'd give that a shot anyways. A lot of people do salt and water. They're wild game or they'll cover them in milk to get any gamey flavor out. 
I don't think squirrel has a bad gamey flavor. It's just kind of a unique flavor. So this is a step I normally don't do, but since I was going to keep them overnight, might as well give it a shot. All right, what I'm going to do to get these squirrels nice and tender and be able to shred the meat off the bone is I'm going to pressure cook them. This is the best way I know of. You could put them in a crock pot, slow cook them all day long. That does work as well. But for convenience and how quick it is, it's hard to beat a pressure cooker. This is just your typical aluminum pot, one that you can get at Walmart or on Amazon. And all I've done is put a cup of water in there. I'm going to start placing my squirrels in the bottom. You can leave them whole. You can quarter them for this. It doesn't matter. All right, now that I've got them all in the pot, I'm just going to put a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic on them. All right, now that I've got them in the pot with salt, pepper, and garlic, I'm going to close this up. I'm going to pressure cook them about 15 minutes. Typically, I do 10 to 12, but since I have a few more packed in here this time, we're going to try 15. And that tends to make them tender enough that I can shred the meat right off the bone. Now, if you're not used to using a manual pressure cooker, don't put the weight on immediately. What you want to do is bring this up to a bowl, and as soon as you start seeing steam come out of that vent, that's when you put your weight on. Then you continue to wait. When the weight starts rocking, that's when you start your timer for 15 minutes. Alright, in the meantime, while we're waiting for this to come to a bowl, we'll start doing the coleslaw. Alright, to make this coleslaw, I'm going to keep it nice and simple. Just bought a bag of shredded coleslaw. I'm going to put in some mayonnaise. Mix that up. We like ours a bit thicker. I do not like runny coleslaw. Put in a little bit of salt. Pepper. Some hot sauce. And I tend to put in Chipotle hot sauce. I love this stuff. Typically, I use this more for tacos. Uh, it's just got a great flavor. So I like to put it in anything that requires hot sauce. All right, we'll put that in the refrigerator and let it sit. The longer it sits, the more of those flavors kind of mellow together until we get the meat shredded off the bone and make our uh, pulled squirrel. Looks like somebody else is excited for squirrel. This dog absolutely loves vegetables. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's exactly what we're looking for. As soon as that vent starts puffing out just a little bit of steam, that's when we'll put our weight on. And we'll give it just a few more minutes. When that starts rocking, we'll start our timer. All right, that's what we're looking for. Whenever it starts rocking like that, you can cut the heat back. It doesn't require much at all to keep it going. You just want it to barely rock. Now we'll start our timer. All right, the timer just went off, so what I do is I kill the heat and let this slowly come down until this lock drops. Some people put this underneath the cold water in the sink or they'll go ahead and take the weight off to relieve the pressure quicker. But if you want to go by my timing, I let everything just naturally go down. When the lock drops, take the weight off the top, open it up. Yeah, these are already falling apart. So now what I'll do is put them on a pan, let them cool off because they're just too hot to touch. Shred the meat, then warm it up in some barbecue sauce. We'll give it a shot. You're learning this with me. Now don't mistake that broth, it actually looks very good, smells very good. I also make squirrel and dumplings as well as Brunswick stew. That broth right there, don't toss it out if you make something like that. It works well, it tastes great. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is just take the meat, start picking it off the bones, just separating it out. I'm gonna put the meat in the frying pan along with some barbecue sauce and just kinda heat it back up. We're done. 
can see how easy this pulls off. Just falls apart. Pressure cooking is definitely the way to go for any kind of tough game. Well, in case you're wondering, that's what the meat of five squirrels looks like. Not bad. Quite a bit more than I was expecting. It looks a lot like pulled pork. Smells like pulled pork. Going to mix some barbecue sauce in, simmer it for just a minute, and serve it up. All right, here's the final result. I'll be honest with you, I just tried a little bit. It tastes exactly like pulled pork. I'm blown away. So if you get a lot of squirrels, this is a great recipe to try. And I should have mentioned, guys out there, got my wife in the other room who's about to try this. Get you a woman that will not only let you cook squirrel in the house, but that will also try it and eat it. That's how you know you've made it. There we are. Started out with a crazy idea. Pulled pork style squirrel sandwich with a spicy coleslaw. I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm blown away. I've never seen this anywhere before. Never heard of anybody doing this. It tastes a lot like pulled pork sandwiches. Just another new great idea, a new recipe for if you get a lot of squirrels in the future. Thank you all for watching. Got some more videos coming. Like, share, subscribe.